Hair is a really exciting, textural and very luxurious material to work with, but it might sound a little bit scary and I can appreciate that completely, so let me explain where hair comes from. So it's traditionally referred to as pony hair, but please let me reassure you it has nothing to do with ponies whatsoever. In fact, it's exactly the same material that we use for our soft leather, only the hair has been left on that material instead of being buffed away and finished in the same way that the soft leather has been. So allay those concerns. Now, working with hair is a lot of fun and we have it in a great range of patterns and colours. We've got leopard print and zebra print, which are, I know, a little bit intimidating to say at first, but actually really cool to work with and very classic. Um, and then we have some great indent colours, including red, purple and a very beautiful sort of dark, dull blue and a black hair as well, of course. Now, the first pair of shoes I'm going to share with you are monochromatic, and you read me right, I do mean zebra print, but this is not an 80s throwback. These shoes are paired with neon, so they look really modern and cool. Now, they're these ballet flats here, so as you can see, we've got the zebra print hair on here, and then we've got the soft leather in the neon orange for the bow, the trimming, and the heel caps. Now, I think these shoes are really cute, monochromatic enough to go with your suit when you're walking to work in the morning. When you don't use trimming on your shoes, we'll put a very fine piping around the edges just for quality and also comfort as well. Now, as Diane von Furstenberg once said, leopard print will never go out of style. So naturally, I wanted to show you a pair of leopard print heels. Now, these ones are just a little bit bolder than the flats I just showed you. So let's get to them. They're these ones here. So they're a pair of 4.5 inch heels in a thick heel with a platform. And we've got the leopard print up top. And you can see here, this is the piping that I was talking about that we put on the shoe when you don't use trimming. And then through the platform, we've got red hair. And on the heel, we've got red hair as well. I think these are quite fabulous. I think you'll be surprised how much leopard does go with as well. But to start out with, if you're not sure, just pop them on with your favorite pair of jeans and go from there. Now, one thing to be aware of when you're designing with hair, it can rub away. So look out for putting it in really high traffic spots on your shoes. Maybe look for putting a heel cap or a toe cap on your shoes when you're designing with hair in the upper, because once the hair wears away, it does go bald in that spot there, and that's not something that we're able to repair, unfortunately. So just something to keep in mind when you're designing. If you would like to see what this hair is actually like in real life, you can order leather swatches from us. I've put the link below this video, so just click on that one there and you can order a few swatches from us and we'll get them to you as fast as we can. I've also included the links below to the designs that I've shared with you today so that you can use those as a starting point for your very own perfect hair shoe design. I've also included the link to our 3D designer so that if you want to start from scratch, you can head straight there and start creating your own beautiful hair shoe. I hope you really enjoy designing with our hair materials.